Hello, my lovely lovers. Welcome back to the Senya Bari Show. Hope you're having a great day. Get ready, hit that like button, and let's go. The topic for today is take the damn compliment. And I'm here to talk to you about how to take a compliment in a most, the most gracious, loving way. Taking it and receiving it in a way that you uh, use it to love yourself as an extension of loving yourself. So um, one of the things we are really confused about is that when a person gives us a compliment, it is a it is an act of generosity. Is it true that everybody giving us a compliment is is um, sincere? Maybe and maybe not. But it's not our job to 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 judge that and to go into judgment and to assess that every time that happens. However, when you receive a compliment from someone, it is like giving a gift to them. Uh, most of us want a lot of love in our lives. We want a lot of, we want to be treated so well. But a lot of us have a problem with reception. I myself, for the longest time, didn't realize that I have a problem receiving things from people. This is one of the ways, the, one of the reasons it is so important to talk about something like take a compliment is because it is essential. It is essential to be able to take a compliment in service to uh, to the self-honoring and self-love and the self-development and the self-confidence of you in order to um, for you to change your impression of who you are and to come more and more deeply into um, into the full being that you are. Many times we are, uh, we are acting, we are operating from our body, from our, uh, you know, our experience. And we don't realize how we appear to people. We're very, very tuned into when people are giving us feedback on how we appear sometimes negatively. And we remember that and we, you know, we live and we remember that for 24 years after the person's died or something. But we don't give the same credence to when people are giving us feedback on how amazing we are, how how wonderful it was to be with us. So um, one of the ways, the very quick ways that I, I'm gonna tell you how to tweak this is to imagine that you are always along for the ride, literally a virtual reality version of you always along for the ride. So that if suppose you meet somebody, let's say that me and my virtual reality version, who I'm saying I'm holding is my best friend, whom I'm saying I have a great relationship with you because I'm doing the work of self-esteem and this and that. And so she and I, me and me go and we are at a party and there's a woman who somehow compliments us. Let's say that she compliments my jeans and she says, whoa, you know, I really like th that pair you know in your heart and you know your virtual version knows that those jeans are for three bucks they're torn in three places they haven't been washed for a week or whatever whatever negative things but you obviously like them or whatever but you're wearing them but um point is that at that moment if you start to break your break down what she's saying and start being mean to yourself like oh these jeans they're like so disgusting this and that it is not only very uncomfortable for the other person to hear that but also it is it is very mean it's very mean to you why for the um i don't know pleasure or putting down or whatever whatever it is that we we start to think that you know wh whatever the reason is that we need to break ourselves down in order to i don't know please the other person it's just a misunderstanding it just doesn't work that way in fact, um, you know, you go in the deficit in both with yourself and your relationship and with the other person. So um, if suppose this person who's along with me, which is a virtual version of myself, was a friend and this friend uh, jumped in and said something negatively to this new person we were meeting, we would have a little bit of a problem. I'd be like, why are you? I'd say to my friend, why are you being so mean? Like she was giving me a compliment. Do you care more about pleasing her than than being in a good standing and being you know, kind to me? Um, and this is exactly how it comes across. My little um, you know, uh, remedy for this is 
that if you, sometimes we've already made a decision. You know what? The next time somebody gives me a compliment, I'm going to be gracious. But sometimes what's happened is that it's a habit. We just, we just can't help it. Anytime somebody gives us a compliment, we have got to break it down or we don't break it down. And we know that the polished thing is to say is to, oh, thank you. But you know, your micro expressions show like, oh, thank you, but not really that kind of thing. Or even if you control your micro expressions that in your heart, you don't take it in the right place where it's supposed to be taken. Anyway, so, um, my remedy for this is that the next time you Notice yourself, and I want you to be conscious of this. The next time you have a compliment, you get a compliment. I would love for you that if you start to hear yourself saying, oh, you know, bad things about yourself, right there, I would like for you to fix it with that person. And it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. It's going to be like in that uh, in that uh, example that I was giving you, that woman says, wow, I love your jeans. And I say, oh, these are terrible jeans. What that would look like would be that after I've said bad things about my jeans, that I would say, no, actually, you know what? These are this are really good pair and I really do love it. It's my go-to pair. And she's going to be like, wait, it's going to be weird in the conversation. It's going to be like, wait, are we still talking about your jeans? Like it doesn't fit in the conversation to keep talking about it, which is why I want there to be that awkwardness. Because in that moment, what you have done then is that you have let go. You have chosen to let go of this person's impression of you, which is what you were trying to do. And you have now chosen yourself in a, in a very bold way. Suppose that, you know, um, this, the next time you do get a compliment, because this is the prom a promise that I would love for you to make with yourself during this video. But suppose the next compliment you get is in a situation where, you know, maybe it's to do with work and you really do need to have a certain professionalism and it's not working. Then what I want you to do is that after you're done with that interaction, please go in the mirror, look in your eyes, connect with yourself and apologize. Apologize for not having your back. And right there in the mirror, after you apologize and make up, have make a promise that the next time you will do this, you will either get it done. And if you make a mistake, because you know what, like I said, it's, it, these are habits as well. That if you do make a mistake, it's fine that you will remedy, remedy it right there. So, um, you know what? I hope you use this skill. You know, I know that so many of my clients have gotten success with this and I personally have had success with this. Um, as I have grown from a person who wasn't able to take a compliment to now graciously taking, taking a compliment, it's like I am every day, whether you may think I deserve it or not, loving myself and all of these, all of these big and little ways, loving my imperfections, loving, yes, my perfections or whatever it is that comes up, just loving that I'm, I'm already having a party with myself. But when there's somebody else who reflects that back to me, I, I also take that. I take that as a gift, as a physical gift that somebody has given me. I take it in my heart and I breathe in the compliment and I take it and it is one more way for me to honor myself and to and to make myself go and evolve because this that job doesn't belong to anybody but me. That's it for now. If you have a question, you can ask me at my private Facebook group, Love CPR. The link is in the description. If you like this video, hit it with a like. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Tap that bell so you don't miss this therapy level information. If you missed our other videos, you can click on our channel below to watch them. That said, as always, my name is Sanya Bari. Love and light from my heart to yours. I can't wait to see you again soon.